Hello everyone, John Anderson Pierre of the Beer Ramble, looking at Cole Snap by Sam Adams, a wit beer, wit beer, wit the beer, or wit beer style. Gets an okay score on Beer Advocate as well as the Bros in the 70s. So, got my glass. I know I'm probably past the time to drink this beer. I saw this available for about 50 cents at the store, my go-to store. It's not Rouse's, but another store. With the, uh, with the special connection. But um, uh, you can look at this and say it's maybe a Blue Moon style, some of the Blue Moon Belgian wheat, a Belgian white style beer. The one that people say that sort of it's not a craft beer, but it is. But um, it's made by not the Blue Moon Brewing Company, Coors. So this is what the beer looks like. Nice little foam, nice little top, as you can see. On to the scent. So I'm doing my bedroom right now, so this a lot of obstruction. The picture. <laughs> All right, better. So. Forgive me for moving the cameras around a lot, guys. Very has a sort of breadiness to it. It's, you know, almost like it's uh, some fruit flavors are in this. So I'm not sick of this crap right now. Um, something I'm watching. Definitely some spices. It's a seasonal brew. Usually, can probably come out maybe during the fall, winter, winter time. So, on to the taste. Not bad. Almost like more like an Oktoberfest with spices I'm tasting into this beer. So I'm getting distracted with the TV. I can't do these reviews with TV. I'm sorry. Get ready to watch some games tonight. It has definitely those spices like you are drinking something within that October you know, pumpkin Thanksgiving style, you know, I, I, there's a lot of, I taste a little nutmeg in this beer, excuse me, I taste a little bit of, um, uh, a little cinnamon in this, it's, It's, it's okay. Um, as you know, Sam Adams, uh, Boston Beer Company, Gym Club. If you've seen all my other videos with them, um, I've I've make exceptional, and I mean really, really make exceptional beers by far. But what the thing has always kind of sort of concerned me is, when, well, he comes up to be this craft beer guy. I'm with the craft guys. He's really a He's really a big wig, folks. Uh, Jim Cook, and he's on the table. He's smoking the cigars. He's wheeling and dealing with, you know, Anheuser Busch and, and whomever, just to put out, you know, the stuff. And um, he's he's on the table. So to me, Sam Adams have really surpassed what they've done 
Um, they, they are, they're an exceptional company, and they have an amazing distribution line out there of beers, and they really spread themselves out. And um, I've always been impressed with them. Um, and they, they actually do more better than Yingling, but Yingling, and I also like Yingling beers too. I think they're also exceptional, but um, that's my only that's my only beef with Jim Cook. Outside of that, it, it, they're just there's just amazing, amazing stuff. Oh, excuse me. This is really good. This ain't bad. Um, I'm very malty, really. Still a lot of lacing in this beer, as you can see here. But um, this would be good for that time of year. Um, you know. Um, that season, late, as we're going late winter, here we are in spring, and I'm sampling this beer. Uh, but I saw it for a deal. It was like 75 cents. I got, I had, I had to get it, so. Um, uh, 2015, um, uh, you compare this with a nice cheese, uh, steak sandwich. Um, you can pair this with uh, some seafood. Nice, some nice seafood. Um, I don't say sushi or something like that, but something within in that in that realm. That that would be good with this beer. Uh, yeah, that that'd be awesome. So I I I think this is good. Um, the OK score on maybe I say I think I say seven. Let's see if it's seven and a half, it's OK. I see seventy. So seven and a half would be for me for this beer. Um, I'll give seven and a half for this one. Uh, I, I think it's all right. It ain't great, but it's all right. Um, as you can see, I, I was kind of thirsty, folks. I've been busting my ass all day, so I said I would do a review of this and here. Bam. So seven and a half for me. And um, this is this is pretty good. Um, so if you've had cold snap and you think you agree with the uh, what beer advocate and the bros have to say, you believe in the score I put in for this cold snap. You think seven and a half is a fair score. Uh, tell me what you think. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments on the bottom. And let me know or let me have it. So, seven and a half for Cold Snap. Sam Adams. And um, excellent, like I said, Boston Beer Company put some, some real good stuff. And I'm not saying it because I'm not a shill for the company. But put some put out some very, very good beers. You know, nothing negative about anything they put out. Except maybe the cherry wheat, which I will not try again. No. But outside of that, everything is exceptional. So, again, leave your comments on the bottom. Tell me what you think. Join us in Pierre the Beer TV room. Tell me you keep on watching. And as always, cheers.